Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Sorry, guys. Good evening, teacher. I don't know what's what's going on, but my hello. Good hello. morning. Good, good evening. Good, good evening. evening everyone. Um, sorry, guys. Good I evening. don't know what's good what's evening. going. Can you guys hear me? There friends. They're friends. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry guys. Um I, I there's some there's some some sort of problem I don't understand uh with with Zoom. It just it, it keeps on giving me problems, but I was finally able to connect. Um Just give me a moment. Okay. All right. Um, all right, guys. So we are going to um, uh, start with... Um, attendance guys uh i see many of you are connected but i don't see all of your faces okay hey sara rachel are you there Sara, Sara Rachel. No está Sara. Y hello. Carlos. Ah, Richard. hello Sandra. Yes, hello. yes Raquel. Me había levantado, por eso no pude contestar. Ah, no, no, no hay problema. So, no, lo que pasa es de que estoy preguntando. Ah, ok, ahí está. Estoy preguntando por qué que veo que hay muchas cámaras apagadas, entonces eh, estoy preguntando si están ahí. Um, Carlos, ¿se dice? ¿Estás ahí? Sí, yes, miss. Uh, okay. I have my dinner. Ok, ok. Um, eh, but can, you, can you turn it on for the, for the attendance? Sí, yes, miss. Okay, good. Um, and Evita uh, Dili, are you there? Present. Oh, wonderful. Okay, and uh, Raquel, you you are there, right? Yes. Are you are you having problems with the with your um uh, with your camera? Yes. Eh, aún continúa la la cámara sin funcionar. Mm, okay. Pero igual si puede encenderlo y mantenerlo así como le sale para que, porque por lo menos así podemos aunque sea aunque sea así podemos ver una silueta y todo. No hay problema. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfecto. Eh, thank you. So we're going to have take attendance. Um, okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to touch it. Because it was a very little. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Excellent, thank you. Um, Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Carlos Alberto Orrego. Yeah, means. Okay, thank you. Eh, Carlos Eliezer. I'm here. Okay, thank you. I'm here. Uh, Denise Alejandra Zunica. Present. Okay, there she is. Okay. Thank you. Um, Diana Jamilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Edith Avilia. Present. Thank you. Emerson Adiel. No. Uh, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Good evening, present teacher. All right, wonderful. Uh, Jorge Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Uh, Marlon Daniel. Present. Present teacher. Yeah, got it, sorry. Uh, okay, yes, thank you. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Not here. Okay. Eh, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Okay, thank you. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. Wonderful. Sara Rachel Salazar. Sorry. Eh, Sara Richard Salazar. I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present, teacher. Excellent, thank you. And Vilma Elizabeth Akian. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, we start. I see. So basically, we're just missing Mayra, verdad? Todos los demás ya están. Okay, very good. All right, guys and girls. Um, so we are going to um Denise are you are you I'm here a, I don't know if you can see me but I I, I can't I, see anybody I can see I yes I can happening. see you I think everybody can see you um so you can't see okay, anybody okay. at all Anybody? No. Okay, let's try this. Can no, you try? Everything is black for me. <laughs> okay, um, but your your sound is okay, right? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Can you hear last... okay? Yes. Oh, you can hear yes. okay. Right now, I can hear okay. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so we'll, we'll try this. Um... Maybe I'm going to try to to out. Yeah, try leaving Zoom and coming back okay. in. Okay, let's okay. try that. And okay, um, try. okay, wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, let me see. I see one person. Okay. All right. So we are going to um, start class with. Um, our PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me if you are able um, to see my PowerPoint.
Cheers, miss. Everybody can see it? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes. Perfect. All right, so this is uh, the Course English for Work program, day 17. Date is Thursday, June 8th, 2023, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. As always, just a reminder of um, how we need to respond in English and ask questions in English. So we have, um, and if I ask you any questions, you can answer, excuse me, can you repeat that? Or can you speak more slowly? Can you spell and then you say the word? Um, what's the answer for number four? Uh, how do you say and you say the word in English? And so you say, so how do you say and then you say the word in Spanish and then you say in English? So for example, how do you spell? Sorry, how do you say um, bosque in English? Okay. And uh, the same thing with um, with the next one. What does mean? So you say the word in English. So for example, what does woods mean? And last one, how do you pronounce this word? All right, any questions? No. No. Okay. All right. So let's start talking about hotel services. So yesterday we, sorry, can you guys hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, miss. Okay, yes, I think it's my camera. Sorry, guys, I'm having this weird problem. I think. The camera was signed from someone. Try this again. Okay, there it is. Okay, so um, we were we started talking a little bit of yesterday about hotel services. So um, let's talk about we have shuttle service, single room, wake up call, Wi Fi connect, internet, sorry, business center, fridge in the room, safe, laundry service. Do we understand those words? Us? Do we understand those words? Uh, some, some, some words, Miss. For example, Wi-Fi, internet, laundry service, and safe, and the other. Oh, single room. But okay. the other. So, so which ones do you do you not understand? Uh, for example, sh no. sugar, sugar. So Shuttle. Shuttle service. Shuttle, shuttle service. Shuttle, okay. shuttle service. Yeah. So yesterday we were talking a little bit about shuttle service. It's basically transportation to a specific place. Okay. Especially, for example, like from the airport to the hotel or opposite from the hotel to the airport. That's shuttle service. Yeah. Um. Yeah, or from airport to airport too. Okay. okay. So for, I remember. For, yeah, you we remember. Talk, we talk about uh, mm -hmm. about the 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 word yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. That's shuttle correct. service. Yeah, shuttle service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Great. 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 Okay. Um. Okay, any other words that you're not sure about? Yeah. 
teacher what it means wake up call okay very good um so sometimes i mean this is like bef like or this this idea originated way before the cell phones existed so nowadays people use their cell phones but um but even now today people prefer to have a wake up call which means that instead of having an alarm clock you get somebody to call your room to tell you it's this time already for example you can say uh, you can tell the front of the front desk um to call you at 6:30 in the morning and then they call you and they say okay it's 6:30 and so that way you know and you can wake up it's like uh, oh, yeah it's right. like an alarm clock alarm mm -hmm. except that it's a call does that um, make sense for everybody wait, wait. yes teacher okay good uh, fridge in the room fridge fridge is a short Short for refrigerator. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got it. Anything else? No. no, miss. No? No. Okay. All right. So I want you right now then to label. Label this uh, these pictures using this vocabulary. Okay. I'll give you a little bit of time to do that right now. Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you pronounce amenities? Amenities. Amenities. Yeah. Amenities. Amenities. Where is the word amenities? What? Where is the word amenity? In the title. In title. In the, uh, in title. Title. Hotel service. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In the title. Okay. Are we ready? Can we check? Or not yet. Oh, sorry. Did you guys hear me? Yes. 
Okay. Just to check. All right, can we check? Uh, I finished. Yes, I finished. Me too. Okay, can we check? We can check. Okay. All right, let's start with the first one. Um, I'm actually going to ask different people. Uh, Denise, did you solve the problem? Or you're still, you're still seeing I'm everything? I'm still back? having some. Okay. Uh, can... I'm still having some problems, but I see, I see the your presentation. I. It's only when I put all the camera. Mm. I can't okay. see anything, but the presentations I can see it. Okay. Okay. If um. If you're having what you can also try if you want is to um, leave Zoom and come back in. Maybe, maybe sometimes like to restart something helps. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I'm going to try maybe restart my computer. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That, that's fine too. Okay. All right. Um, so we'll start with Raquel. Raquel Elizabeth, can you give me this the first one? <coughs> Wake up call. <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, very good. Anybody know why wake up is hyphenated? Any ideas why wake up is hyphenated? Okay, let me explain to you. Um, wake up is a verb, right? Wake up. Yes. And when yes. we when we use it as a verb, it's never it, it's never hyphenated. So I can say to you, I wake up at five thirty. Okay, it's not it's not going to be hyphenated. Okay, why? Because we're using um wake up as a verb. Okay. But in this case, sorry. Oops. But in this case, um in the in this over here case, we're not using wake up as a verb. We're using wake up as an adjective how do you know the reason or how the, the way that you know is because we have a, a, a noun after okay so the, the what's the noun call call very good okay so we have the 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 ver the noun call and what this does is that the word wake up is, is acting like an adjective it's telling us what kind of call it is it's describing the call so when it's describing a call then it becomes an adjective so when we have an adjective then what we do is change wake up, which is composed of two words, wake up, we put them together as to make an adjective. And because we are making or connecting to words, that's what we call a compound adjective. And that when we have a compound adjective, we put it hyphen. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to everybody?
Yes, no, maybe. Uh, I'm still, I still know this. You, you, it's still not clear? Mm, yeah. Okay, mm. so we, you understand that wake up is a verb here, right? I wake up at 5.30. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Now, what happens is, um, what happens is, um, hold on. I'll write it, I'll write it down here. Uh, all right, can you, you can see the sentence, right? Okay, so I wake up at 5.30, that's a, 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 a verb, right? Wake up is a verb. Now, if I, if I use, uh, if I, if I have a sentence, I asked for a wake up call, what is the verb? Hmm. The verb What's the verb? Wake. Yeah, wait. No, in no. this one, I asked for a wake up call. Oh, oh ask. <laughs> Very good. The verb is asked. Okay, oops, let's change that to, uh, to red. Okay, so this is the verb. Okay, so I asked for what did you ask for? You asked for a call, right? Right, Carlos? You asked yeah, for a call? Yeah, miss. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's what you asked for a call. We have this is a noun. This is a, literally is being, this is a, an object, right? Yeah. So I is a subject, call is the object, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now, what happens, <clears throat> what happens is that in that case, because this is an object or a noun, the word before it is actually describing what kind of a call it is, okay? So what kind of a call is it? It's a wake up call. Oops, it's a yeah. wake up call. That's the kind of call it is. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So what happens is that because wake up call is described, or better said, wake up is describing the call, then wake up becomes an adjective. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Um, describe the object. Yeah. Uh, Exactly, describe. it describes the, the object, the, which is the, the call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay, like in Spanish, una llamada, que clase de llamada? Uh, despertar. Uh -huh. Good, despertar. una llamada de, mm. what would it be in Spanish actually, I don't even know. Una llamada, despertador. despertadora. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Una llamada despertadora. Okay, good. Okay. So, despertadora. That's an adjective. Okay? Yes? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, now, wake up is not like this one, because this one is a verb. In this case, wake up has another function, and the function is an adjective. But the thing is that wake up is composed of two words wake and up, and up. Mm -hmm. because the two words come together to make one adjective then what we do is we we put a hyphen here to connect the two 
words to make that make one adjective. Does that make sense? Yeah, miss. It's like yeah. a, it's the same. Uh, uh, it's the same. Uh, for example, to on, uh, to on and take off. Yeah or no? Yes, but but in those cases, you normally we use as a verb. As a verb, you do not uh, put a hyphen. You do not connect them. They are separate. The, the verb is separate. But when they become an adjective, it's one word. Okay. Okay? So mm -hmm. as a verb, they are separate. Wake up. But as an adjective, they are one word, wake up. And so to connect the two words, we put a hyphen. Okay, does, does that make sense now, Carlos? To, to connect it to, to connect it, connect it <clears throat> to a word for describing the, 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 the object. Mm -hmm, exactly. Exactly. Yes. yes. Adjective. Yes. This is the adjective. Mm -hmm. Well, the, well, the, uh, the words. Yes. Okay. okay. I got it. So any any word, any word that's an adjective that is composed of two parts is connected with a hyphen. To give you an example, I'll give you other example. This is actually another class, really, but just so that you get this is a class on its own, but just so that you get an idea. Um, I can say. A good looking person. <clears throat> okay. So what's what's the the noun? Uh, the noun is uh parasol. Person. Hmm? Person. Person, the very good. Person. Exactly. The noun is person. So because person is the noun, what is before it is the, the, the adjective, right? Right. And so I got it. we end up with a good looking. Good looking is the adjective. But because good looking is... Describe the person. Describes the person. And it's an adjective that is composed of two parts two parts. Mm -hmm. In that case, what we do, what we do is we connect the looking with a hyphen. And it's good looking. Good looking is the adjective. It's right. an adjective. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So okay. adjectives that are composed, that are two composed words. of two parts, two words. of two words, are connected with a hyphen. I got it here. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Okay. Like I said, that's a that's a, a topic on its own, but I just wanted you to understand that this is not a verb. This is an adjective. The and this is a noun. That's that's basically what I wanted you to understand. The difference between wake up as the verb and wake up as an adjective. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. What's this? Um, and I'm gonna ask Ana Victoria to help me. Um, the number two is laundry service. Very good. Laundry service. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, number three, can Diana? Diana, can you help me? Number three. Um. Yeah. Number three. Three. Speak it in the wrong. Speak it in the wrong. Good. Fridge in the room. 
Rich yes. in the room. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Okay, very good. Um, Vilma, can you help me with the next one? Business Center. Okay, good. Just said it's not business, it's business. Business, business center. center. Yes, business, business center. center. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, aquí creo que se mira cortado, ¿verdad? But we'll just put it at the top here. Um, Sara Rachel, can you help me with number five? Safe. Very good. Safe. Yes. Okay. So, what is this in Spanish? Safe. It's it's seguro. Caja fuerte. Okay. So here is another example. Yeah. So here's another example of how safe, uh, which is an adjective, becomes now a noun. Okay. So in this case, it's not safe like an adjective but it's actually re in reality it's a safe a safe okay una caja fuerte okay does that make sense this is this is no adjective right no this is not an adjective no. this is a noun no this is a noun yeah it's a thing okay, okay? Yes. Okay, next. <clears throat> um, okay, um, the next one, let's have Carlos Elicer. Can you help me with the next one? Uh, single room. All right, very good, single room. Okay, so single room means basically one bed in the room. It, it, it could be for only one person or it can be for two people, but only one room. It was sorry, one, one bed. Okay. All right, um, next one. We have uh, Asalia, please. Asalia, can you hear me? Number seven, Tisha? Yes. Yes, correct, number seven. Skyler service. Sorry, could you repeat that? Shuttle service. Okay, shuttle service. Very good. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Mm -hmm. Shuttle. Okay, thank you very much. And the last one. Uh, Denise, how's how's your image now? Better. I I I changed my connection. Oh, okay. I think it's, it's my internet connection, the problem. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So speaking of that, can you give me the last answer? <laughs> yes. Wi-Fi internet. Okay. Thank you. Wi-Fi internet. Okay. Now, now that I asked, now that I explained about wake up call, can somebody tell me why? Wi-Fi is has is hyphenated. Why do we have a hyphen in Wi-Fi? Give me explica. 
I think there are uh, is there are two words but short, but I don't remember the words. <laughs> okay, you're yes, you're in the right direction. Okay, so yes, there are there are two words, right? Okay, so but why do we have a hyphen? That's my question. Why do we have a hyphen? Sorry guys, it should actually be capital letters. It's an adjective? No. Right, it's an adjective. Exactly. Why is it an adjective? Because uh, R2, R2, uh, R2 water to describe mm -hmm. uh, the noun. Okay, so what is the noun? The noun is internet. Right, okay, so we have the noun internet. Whatever goes before the noun is an adjective, right? So Wi-Fi becomes an adjective. Now, Wi-Fi is actually short for wireless fidelity. Okay, Wire wireless fidelity. So, we, we made it short, wireless, right? Spelled W-I-R-E-L-E-S-S. -S. And fidelity is spelled F-I-D-E-L-I-T-Y, -E -E right? But we make it short, instead of saying wireless fidelity, we just make it short to Y and then Phi. But notice that they are two separate words, wireless fidelity, and they come together to make an adjective. So that's why when we use Wi-Fi as an as a <clears throat> as an adjective, we're gonna put it with a hyphen hyphen to connect the two words. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, means. Teacher, did you say wireless and the second word, what is? Fidelity. I'll write it in the chat. Oh, okay, okay. Wireless fidelity. 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 Wireless fidelity. Which is really funny because we really, fidelity means that it's, you know, something that you can trust, that it's always going to be there. Uh, Wi-Fi is not always very, very um, loyal. <laughs> you can't always trust it. Yes. 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 Yeah. So it's Every kind of ironic. Down. Yeah, it's kind of ironic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, mm -hmm. How do you pronounce fidelity? Fidelity. 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 It's you can pronounce Fidel it two ways. You can pronounce it fidelity, like the, the, the British would pronounce it fidelity, and the Americans would pronounce it uh fidelity. 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 Okay. Yeah. Where is fidelity? Okay. <laughs> fidelity. Okay. Oh, right. Perfect. All right. So that's that. It's clear. And let's move on. So services and amenities checklists. Write a checklist about the types of services and amenities you need for your next trip. And uh, we're going to use words from the box and include your own. So you can you can include words like um, Wi-Fi, internet, um, you know, laundry service. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, business center, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So write down the checklist of things that you need for your next trip. Okay. In your note, in, in your notebook, you can write it down. Any any kind of, of trip or just a bus business trip? Um, your next trip. 
on your next trip. So whatever your next trip is, if it's business trip, then talk about business. Like, it, and if it's a just pleasure trip, then you can do that too. If you can try to do at least five, but you know, if you can't fill it in, then it's okay too. If you if you can't think of five, that's okay too. Okay, are you finished? Yeah? Finished, guys? Yes. Okay, so what I want you to do now is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do the second part. Ask two of your classmates about their list and compare them with yours. So I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms and you're going to share your list with them. Okay. Sounds good, everybody? Yes, yeah. yes, miss. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I just want to make sure that we do have everybody here because um, there are still some people with their cameras off. So I want to make sure that you guys are there. So, um, Carlos Alberto, you're there, right? Okay, perfect. Uh, yes, yes, miss. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I know sometimes when you go to see something else, it, it, the camera turns off, so I understand. Um, Asalia, Melanie, are you there? Perfect. Edita Dilia? Wonderful. And Raquel? Raquel Elizabeth, Hi. are you there? Okay. All right. Um, so can you turn on the camera? Yes. So, all right. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to put you guys into groups of three. There are four, but mostly 
three. Okay, that's gonna be a group of four. Um, and I want you to share, and no, don't don't just share your your list because that's boring. Just I need this, 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 this. You, I need this, this, this. That's boring. Okay, try to explain why you need those things. Okay, so actually have a conversation right with your classmate. That's the idea. Okay, so if you need if you need a business center, explain why you need a business center, okay? And so on. Or if you need a laundry service, explain why, like, oh, you know, I usually, um, I'm gonna be traveling for two weeks, so uh, I need to have clo clean clothes, right? Because it's gonna be a long trip, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Ready? Okay. <clears throat> Let's open the rooms. Akil, are you having problems with the connection? Akil, are you having problems with the connection? Teacher. Yeah, I think uh, a problem then is with uh, Wi Fi internet. Oh, Denise, are you no. there? Yes, I have okay. a problem with my internet. I'm sorry, it's okay. It's okay. All right, hello, hello, hello. Teacher, I don't Can understand. You hear me? What don't you understand, Sarah? About the, the activity. In, in one hello, read a chat please about the type of service and hello, and... Denise. We can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes. Denise, I think she she is having still a lot of problems with the connection. Problem. Denise, can you hear us? Okay, all right, so Sara, um, you just have to explain what services you need when you go on a trip. What services? De los que hemos hablado. Wi-Fi internet, uh, business center, uh, airport shuttle, uh, sorry, shuttle service, uh, et cetera, et cetera. What, what services do you need? I have a wife. No. Um, no, 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 no. Don't say what you have, what you need for the next trip. Uh, I need Wi Fi. Okay, but, but, but explain why. Don't just say, I need this. Explain why. I need Wi Fi because blah, 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 blah. Okay. okay? All right. Okay. Go for it. In with the two, Char, in Char. Hello. Can you hear me? Um, ask two of your my class about the release. Mm. Hello. Hello. I I can't hear you. Can you hear me, Sarah? Yes, I oh. can hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having bad problems with my internet right now. Oh, okay. And then, uh, do you want to start or share something? The share, I think uh, the comp the compare 
uh, with with you with he uh, Sergio. Right. Okay. Uh, do you have your five amenities or services that you need in wi your next trip? I need wife. Okay. Uh, for me, treat and I need the service single home. Wi-Fi, internet, laundry service, children's service, safe and safe. That's it. Okay. And I don't Sergio, want you. You're, you're... <laughs> I don't want it. I know it's necessary for me safe. I have a trip uh, the next month, but I it's a uh, like a a birthday trip, <laughs> and I think that I need <laughs> I need <laughs> I don't know if it's it's a service. I think it's a an, an amenity, but I need a pool. <laughs> I need a bar. <laughs> Repeat, please. In some malls, there are game centers. Uh, like uh, a game game room with a very kind of games. In a hotel, I don't know. I don't know. I never been in a photo before. <laughs> so but it's a good option. Oh, <clears throat> we say pronounce it hotel is my hotel. Hotel. Yeah, hotel. Not hotel, but hotel. Oh. Hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. okay. Correct. Hotel. Hotel. I never been in a hotel hotel before. Um, the service. Uh, it is very important. Um, important to have food service. It says you call not go out quietly in another country. Um. You limited internet. I need to send document information about the business of the company. A single room. Uh, I need a room to rest. Yeah. Um, laundry service. I need to wash the clothes. My clothes, clothes. Yes. Yes, I yes, I understand. Oh, I forget. I forget. Uh, uh, one service in my in my list. Uh, laundry, <laughs> laundry service. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Very clear my clothes. Uh, and I, I want to laundry service because I want to show shower my clothes every every day. Day by day, and and wear and wear my 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 clothes very clear. It's all okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I think we finish. Yes, finish. Miss, are you are you there? We uh, I think we finish, Miss. Okay, I'll see you in the main room. Okay.
Okay. So tell me what kind of amenities do you need for your next trip and why? Why do you need these amenities? Mm -hmm. Or should I ask individually, different people? Okay, I'll ask different people then. Um, uh, Carlos Lecer, why? What what services do you need and why? Um, in my case, I need a um, um, a little bar. Oh yeah. Oh, a mini bar. Me too. Oh yeah, no, me no, too. No. <laughs> yeah. A open bar. Yay. Yay. Okay, a mini bar. <laughs> I forget the service in my wow, list. Wow, everybody went so happy all of a sudden. <laughs> One service more. Okay, very good, a mini bar. Okay, tell me why do you need a mini bar, Carlos? Um, in my opinion, in my opinions, because sometimes, uh, I don't know, we, we be stressed out. We are stressed out. Ah, okay. No, can you repeat that? Um, because sometimes we uh, are we be uh, we, we are uh -huh. we are stressed out. Stressed out, yes, we are stressed out. Okay, all right, okay, good. Thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you. Um, the English okay. classes <laughs> because of English class. Okay, all right, Diana. Tell me what what um what services do you need? Diana? Sorry to check. That's okay. Okay. So, um, what services do you need and why? Okay. Um, I go and have the internet password. Sorry, can you repeat that? I have the internet password code. Okay, so you I, need Wi Fi then, Wi Fi, yes, yes, uh -huh, yes. internet. Internet. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, Why? Oh, uh, I want in laundry service for my rooms. Okay. Okay. Why? Can, I, can you tell us why? Uh, why do you need those things? Yes. Um, What's the reason? Service and uh, for my room. My room, room. Service. Okay. S sorry. Um, I, I don't know if I'm I'm not having trouble hearing you, but can you repeat again why you need that service? Why do you need that? I want I want laundry. You want laundry, laundry service. Laundry. Laundry. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Okay. Why laundry service, Diana? Yes. Why? Yes, service. Um, and for room. For, for what? my room. And for hotel. O sea, usted necesita el servicio de lavandería. Yes. Uh -huh. But my question is why? Why? Okay. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Yes. Um, Um, for the actual and the uh, how you want to say ropa or clothes, clothes, uh -huh. yes. yes, yes, clothes on my. My clothes. Okay. So what about your clothes? What's the reason? Que de su ropa? And uh, the shirts, shirts, or a dress, the equipaje. Aha, pero que, 
¿Qué pasa con eso? O sea, entiendo que hay ropa, entiendo que tiene ropa en el equipaje, pero ¿qué pasa con eso? ¿Por qué? Give me a sentence. Don't just give me vocabulary. Give me a sentence. Why do you need it? Because of this. I need laundry service because... Because you need to wash your clothes and your family's mm -hmm. clothes. Okay. Okay. Oh, bueno. Mm -hmm. oh, eh, okay. Eh, la otra sería, no sé, si, uh, a, a have a kids area. Si tienen un área para niños. Oh. Es co, co, a have a kids area. Um, so a because, uh, children's the, area. Uh, the nursery service um, for children. Children. Yeah, children's area. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Why do you need a children's area? Okay. Uh -huh. Why? There a nurse, nursery service uh -huh, for children. Okay. Yes, but why? Mm -hmm. yes. Why? Why? Yeah, Diana, why is por qué? When you leave uh -huh. why? Es, le, estoy decir, pero le estoy preguntando por qué. Uh -huh. need, entonces okay. necesito que usted me responda because, blah, 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 blah. Ok. Because um, my daughter uh -huh. um, uh, entered en, como decir para pasar entretenido o para no sé. Okay, because my daughter needs to be entertained. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so repeat. My daughter needs to be entertained. My daughter mm -hmm. needs to be entertained. N needs to be entertained. Yes, very good. Exactly. Yes. Siempre que dé una respuesta de por qué, asegúrese que tengamos un verbo ahí. Porque, okay. porque eh, necesito, porque quiero, porque uh, um, hago. We need a verb. ¿Ok? Ok, sure. All right, very good. Excellent, thank you. Ok, um, Sandra, tell me about the services that you need and why. Need a basically, uh, I mean, it is, but in, Sorry, could example, you repeat that? I need basically, I mean, it is. A what? A many Amenities. Okay, amenities. Uh, which amenities? Uh, for example, um, I need a double room. In the double room, I need water, shower, and potkin, cloth, bedroom, and emergency lamp, and toilet paper, and so on. Okay. Why do you need a double room? Because um, we are five persons. Well, five, two adults and three uh, children. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Uh what what other thing did you say you needed? What? Uh, you said okay, so you said you needed a double room. Um toilet paper. What else did you say? Um body cream. Oh, okay. Yeah. What 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 you mean botiquin? Because I no, wait, 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 wait. I you mean botiquin, right? Botiquin. Okay, okay. 
we don't say poti po, uh, potiking in 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 English. That oh, is that would be like um a, an emergency kit. Emergency. An emer yeah, emergency kit. Emergency kit. Yeah. Okay. That's, okay. No. Okay. okay. Why do you need an emergency kit? Because um, when you have a children, you you don't know when you need, <laughs> uh, for example, acetaminophen or alcohol or aspirin yeah, or curita, no sé, curita. Okay. Yeah. A band aid. Call it band aid. Band aid. Band -aid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Very, very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good, everybody. We're going to move on to the next part. Um, so please tell me if uh, you are able to see my PowerPoint. Yes, no. Yes, everybody sees it? Sure, sure, miss. I I can see that. Power. Okay, so everybody can see it? Denise, can you see it? Yes, miss. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have this these introduction questions. First question Do you prefer to stay in a modern or an antique hotel when you travel. Do we understand the difference between modern and antique? Yes, miss. Yeah, we understand antique? Yes. Yeah, so antique, like something that um, is from a long time ago. Next question, do you usually but make I'm your- Sorry? Several years. Yeah, several years. Like maybe, you know, uh, 30, 40, 50 years. Okay. Do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? Do we understand these questions? Yes. Yes. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing and... I'm actually going to share these questions with you in the group. So that you can um, that you can get together with your partner in the breakout rooms and discuss these questions. Okay, um, I just sent them, can you see it? Can you see them guys? Yes, teacher, I can see. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put you back into your breakout rooms, the same groups that you had before. And I want you to discuss these questions, okay? All right, we're ready? Okay, so just discuss those questions. Here we go, let's open the rooms. And the two questions, do you prefer to stay uh, in modern or antique hotels 
when you travel? In my case, um, the first question, in my case, I I prefer to stay in a... I don't have prefer. I don't I don't have prefer to stay in or or I I can I can stay in the modern and an antique order. Okay, but, so Carlos, I don't have a preference. Okay, I don't have thank a you, preference. Mm -hmm. I don't have I don't have a preference to stay in a modern and in, in a modern of antique order. But uh, literally, I I stay in a modern hotels. I think uh, I think they they have a they have a good attention for the for the clients for the for the uh, clientes. Miss, sorry, what do you what do you say in English, clientes? How how client. do you say client? How what? do you say how do you say? Not what do you say? How do you say? How do you say? Mm -hmm. How do you say clientes? Yeah, um, clients. Clients is fine. Clients, clients. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, they. Um. They, uh, I forget the the word. Um. I prefer I prefer stay in a modern hotel because they uh, they they have a good uh, a good service uh, for the for your for their clients right it's my experience in the modern hotels and the next do you um, Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, usually, uh, someone, someone does, uh, someone does does it a uh, reservation for me, right? And for uh, sometimes my my sister, sometimes my my mom, but uh, I I never. Uh, I never make uh, I never make a I never make a reservation uh, for for myself and the order and uh, for staying in the order. I think it's all. Mm -hmm. no, sometimes I we can choose another. And other occasion, and in the in the office, choose the choose the reservation. Okay. In my case, when I need to travel, um, if I have a um, outfit. Amphitryon, teacher, how do you say amphitryon? Amphitryon. Teacher, how do you say amphitryon? Okay. Uh, the conversation is in the practice. In, in, in my case, when my travel is for work, sometimes the host made the, made the reservation because they had or they had they had paid for my hotel and my food and my mm -hmm. and my <laughs> and sure, sure, Rest, transportation rest, restaurant prefer the reservations of them 
Yes. Um, and some, some kind, uh -huh. some kind, uh -huh. they give, give them, no sé cómo se dice, viáticos. They give a viáticos. Viáticos. Mm -hmm. Travel expenses. Viáticos. Viáticos. Travel expenses. Ah, oh, travel expenses. Mm -hmm. They have the, the host pay the travel expenses and the hotel in other Yes. I like travel with the host <laughs> <laughs> because I I know. I don't. I I don't have cost. Cost is yes. correct, teacher. I don't have. I don't have. Cost. I don't have. I don't have what? Uh, you, um, cost or costos? When I when I have um, expenses. Cost, uh -huh, when I have expenses, I I don't need pay for anything. Oh, when you have your expenses paid. Yes. When you have I... your expenses paid. Mm -hmm. No, but don't, no, no, don't mm -hmm. say it because that's the way you're going to learn. When I <laughs> when I have my expenses paid. Uh -huh. When I have my, my expenses paid. Yes, exactly. Okay, yes. good. Uh -huh. I, I have some travels because mm. um, I have a, a cause mm. or in my world other opportunities for travel for travel Okay. All right, guys. So let's talk about this. So the first question we had was, do you prefer to stay in a modern or an antique hotel when you travel? So we missed it. Do you prefer to be, do you prefer to um, stay in a modern or an antique hotel when you travel? Uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead, sir. When I travel, I prefer them to give. Oh, okay. Why? Because I like to the history. Oh, okay. No, no, the well, I I like the infrastructure. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Very good. I I like I prefer the colors, the 
the the, the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, um in my case I prefer mo modern hotels. Yeah. Yes. Okay, <laughs> why? Why modern hotels? I I don't know why, but I feel more safe in modern hotels. Oh. Okay, you see you feel safer, okay. Okay, okay, very good, very good. What about the rest of you? Um, Teacher, mm -hmm. how do yes, you pronounce anti, anti, anti uh, antique? Uh, we pronounce antique. it antique. Ah, uh, antique. Antique. Okay, yeah. Antique. Thank yeah. you, thank you. You're welcome. All right, anything else? Uh, I have no preference uh, to stay in uh, to stay in the antique or modern order. Okay, so the two are, yeah. are okay for you. Yeah, but literally I I I stay in the modern orders. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, I I like I like the service the, the modern uh, modern the of the modern orders. Ho hotels. Like, uh, hotels. Ho hotels, yes. Okay, I like uh, I liked the service and um yes, but uh, I have not a preference. Okay. In the All main right. time, the main time I me uh, traten bien. They they treat me well. They treat me well. Um, no, but uh, don't care. I don't care. Uh, I don't care where I stay in in the or the antique or the or the modern hotels. Okay. 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 I very finish. good. All right. Excellent. Okay. So next question is. Um, do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? Mm -hmm. Do you do the reservations yourself? In in my case, the the letter times when I go to hotels. I I I have do my own reservations. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. So you make your own reservations. What about the rest of you? Do you make your own reservations or someone does it for you? In my case, usually means uh in my case, usually my friends, my oh. friends make a reservation. Okay. Or 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 my sister or my brother. Okay. Right? And I never I never I never make a reservation in our else. Okay. So normally you don't make it. Okay. All right, very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so we're going to move on to the next part. Can you guys tell me if you can see my PowerPoint? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, me. All right. So oh, we have yes. All oh, right, perfect. So we have a conversation here between Jen and, and Gerardo, and I need two volunteers to help me read. So who can be Jen? Me, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Anna, Victoria, you can be Jen. Who wants to be um, Gerardo? Me, me, teacher. Okay, go for it, Sergio. All right, you can start. Uh, okay, I am Jane. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. 
This is Jane. How can how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday of uh, for uh, for <laughs> Uh, How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Um, a single room, please. Okay, wonderful. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. So, um... All right, so let me help you out here. Um, so we say 14th, 14th, can you repeat with that? Uh, four, four t. 14. 14. 14 or 14? 14. 14th. 14th. Yeah, four teeth. Four teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, four teeth. Yeah. Okay. Any other words that you don't understand? The sorry, the the pronunciation. Any words that you want me to help you with in the pronunciation? All right. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, whoever is doing that, just come on. Give me a moment. Just, just write in the chat. Write in the chat. Okay, in in the chat, guys. Uh, so I know exactly what your your what the word is. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, now I got. I think that's it, right? Okay. All right. So the first word is arrive. 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 The other one is 14th, 14th. The other one is until, until. The other one, double, double. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> Any other words that you don't understand the meaning? Let's talk about meanings now. You can write in the chat words that you don't understand what they are.
Wait a second, guys. I just realized. Get over it. Yeah, I just realized there was one word. Que no, que no, no puse. What's that? Calling. Pronounce it calling. Okay. Teacher, in the fourth sentence, uh, may. Uh -huh. May. What is, what, is, uh -huh. what, is, what is the meaning of may? Oh, the meaning, okay. Okay, I'll write this one down. Or we'll circle it or put a box around it. Any other words that you don't understand the meaning I can explain? No teacher, in my case, I don't mm. have questions about the meaning. Okay. All right, so let me explain what may means. Uh, when say, may I have your name, please? It's like saying, can I have your name? But may is more polite. When you say, may I have your name? It means like, it's, it's, when, it's like when you say in Spanish, podría tener su nombre, which is, more polite than puedo tener su nombre, right? It's just, it's it's more polite way of asking. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the following. Uh, fill in the form with information from the conversation, okay? Uh, so I want you to complete the, the agent, the guest, the check-in, the checkout, if it's single room or double room. And notice also, this is a, a little um, information box. Use would like for a very polite request. Okay, so you say, if you say, I would like a, to reserve a room, it's more polite than saying, I want to, to reserve a room. You can say I want, but it's more polite to say would like. And you can also say, I need, okay, I need to, I need to reserve a room, which is also possible, but not polite. No, it's, it's less polite. So, so want, it's like very like ordinary. Need a little bit more polite, would like very polite. It's like when you say in Spanish, quiero reservar un, un cuarto. It's less polite than necesito reservar un, un cuarto, which is less polite than me gustaría eh, reservar un cuarto. Okay, so eh, these are like the levels of, of politeness. So let's complete this information here.
Okay. Are you finished? Oops, sorry. Did you finish yes. completing? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, I was gonna ask you to do it with a partner, but I think I think we can do it together. I think that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's fill out the information. So what's the agent? The agent is Jane. Jen. Jen. Yeah, it's Jen. Who is the guest? Gerardo. Gerardo. Gerardo what? Gerardo what? Gomez. Very good. Gerardo Gomez. Gomez. Gerardo Gomez. Chicken? Maybe Friday for for fourteenth. 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 Friday fourteenth. Mm -hmm. Friday the 14th. Normally we say Friday the 14th. And a checkout? Check out. Monday. 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 Okay. So it would be. 50, 60. Yeah. It would seven. be Monday. Seven, seven, 17th. 17th. Yeah. Monday 17th. Good. Monday the 17th. And does he want a single or a double room? Double double room. Double, double room. room. No single. No, miss. It's a huh? single room. Mm -hmm. A single Very room. Good. Single exactly. Room. Single room. Very good. It's a single room. He says it at the end, single room. Okay. Yeah, I see. Very good. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about when we have plans. We call this, uh, we use the future be going to, to talk about our plans. So let's look at the words in bold to complete the sentences. So when we're talking about affirmative sentences, let's take a look how we're gonna we're going to describe them. So it says, I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th. Friday the 14th. Or I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm going to stay until Monday. Ms. Fuentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on the 14th. Okay. Now negative sentences. Ms. Fuentes is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Mrs. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday, the 13th. Okay. So let's, let's analyze this. The first thing you have to do is identify that we always use the verb to be. That's why it's called be going to. So we say, I'm going to, that's the uh, the, the apostrophe of, of am, which comes from be, okay? I'm going to arrive, I'm going to stay. Miss Point is, is going to travel, is going to travel. Miss Point is, okay, so that's affirmative. And the other one in the negative we use neg is so is not are not am not. So in this case, is not going to. 
or this one is not going to. Okay. So far so good? Yes, yes, Miss. Okay. Now, after that, we always, 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 always use going to. Going to, going to, going to. It doesn't matter what this, the subject is. We're always going to say going to. Okay. All of them are going to be going to, going to. Yes. And after that, we use the verb in the base form. So we right. say arrive, stay, travel. So be in the, in the original form. Okay. Um, or we have fly, arrive. Oops. Do we understand this? Is it pretty clear? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, good. So we use be going to plus the verb in the base form to describe scheduled activities. This is the important part here. Scheduled activities and activities that will will be defined def will be definitely happen will sorry that will definitely happen in, in the future okay for negative sentence inserts not before going to it's the same it's just you just have to put not it's for negative sentences now if you want to ask a question though you want to ask a question. The structure is this one we have here. So, um, so the verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb. Okay. 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 All right, so that's why we always start with um, are, are you going to, are you going, sorry, are you going to stay, I, I, sorry, are you going to stay in a smoking or not smoking room, are you going to make the reservation for single or double room, okay, and after that, we use the subject, right, so the subject is, in this case, you. Over here, it's also you. Then after that, we're always going to use going to. So this doesn't change. Independent of the subject, it's always going to be going to. And finally, we use the verb in the base form, so no change like stay, make. And for information questions, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Um, the only difference is that we're gonna put placing, we're gonna be placing the WH question phrase at the beginning. That's the difference. But the structure continues the same. So, um, so you will notice that we use a B going, sorry, B. So here we have R, again, also R. Oh. Then we have the, the subject U and U. We always use the verb 
sorry, the, we always use going to independent of the, the subject. And at the very end, we also use stay, which is in the base form, and arrive, which is also in the base form. Okay, any questions so far? No, miss. Is that clear for everybody? Yeah. So these. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to stop there for today. Um, and I'm just going to take attendance. Moment. Okay, so we're going to start right now. Um, Ana Victoria? Present. Good. Um, Asalia Melanie? Present. Good night. Okay, good night. Uh, Carlos Alberto Orrego? Uh, I'm here, Tisha. Wonderful. Carlos Alberto, sorry, Carlos Elisa Dimas? I'm here, Tisha. Great. Um, Denise Alejandra? Present. Great. Uh, Diana Jaminet? Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Edith Adilia? Present. Good. Uh, Emerson Adiel? Ismael Ernesto Oyat? Present, teacher. Excellent. Jorge Ernesto Hernández? Um, Present teacher. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Malon Daniel Miranda. Present. Very good. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth. No sé si se logró conectar. No creo que no. Okay. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Excellent. Uh, Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Sara Rachel Salazar. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present, teacher. Excellent. And finally, Vilma Elizabeth Aquian. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. All right, guys and girls, so that will be all for today. I will see you tomorrow. And uh, make sure that you're working in Chapter 4. Um, the platform and the final exam so that you're not doing everything the last minute, okay? Okay. All right, so that's it, guys. Okay. Take care okay. and okay, um, tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Thank you tomorrow, Good night, everyone. everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. Jorge, do you have a question? Denise?